Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on CERT. This is the second video on this topic, so if you've not watched the first one yet, then I recommend you watch that first. Uh, but in this video, we're gonna look at a couple more skills starting with simplifying CERTs. So if we have an expression or a CERT, such as the square root of 28, and we want to simplify this, how are we gonna do that? Uh, well, if you can take out a factor of a square number uh, from the number inside the square root, uh, then you can cancel this CERT down. And so uh, how are we gonna do that in this case? Well, 28 is equal to four times seven. And using our uh, rules from the first video, this is equal to root four times root seven, and the square root of four is two. So we've got two times root seven. So this simplifies to two root seven. So the next skill we'll look at is double brackets with certs. So if we have an expression in double brackets, for instance, m plus root n, we'll keep it generic, uh, times n plus root n. Uh, how are we going to expand this out? Uh, well, if you've not watched our video on expanding double brackets, then I recommend you watch that first because that'll explain the method which I'm about to use. So the method is called FOIL, where uh, this stands for first, outside, inner, and last. Uh, so what does this mean? Well, it means we multiply the first terms in the brackets together first to give us m squared. Then we multiply the outside terms together that's m and the root n, so that gives us m root n, uh, and then we multiply the inner terms together, so that's the root n and the m, so we get the same thing, m root n, and then we finally multiply the out, uh, the last terms, sorry, together, so that's uh, root n times root n, so root n times root n is equal to n. Uh, so we're left with this expression here, m squared plus m root n plus m root n plus n. So let's just collect the like terms now, so we've got m squared on its own, and we have two terms here, m root n, which are both the same. So this simplifies to 2m root n, and then finally we have n on the end. Uh, so that's how you expand double brackets with thirds. If you're feeling good about this topic and you want to get some practice in, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which are instantly marked so you get feedback on where you're going wrong and how you can improve for your exam. So if this is something you're interested in, uh, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.